Becky, and we're with A Couple of Bees Read. And we also are Book of the Month obsessed, so we like to make Book of the Month predictions, and it is time for more predictions. Yes, I kind of got on a kick this time with, like, repeat authors for them. Yes, I know. Yes. Like Alice Hoffman, and we all love Alice Hoffman, her Practical Magic series and mm -hmm. um, everything, but she has a new one called The Invisible Hour. Um, and, you know, I don't know if it will be a choice or it could be an add-on, but they carry Mm -hmm. all of her practically all of her books yeah. well uh, it's not coming out until the 29th so it might, might be an add-on uh, for september so, okay so it could it could be that right and um it deals with um oh what did it say marriage of opposites no that was one of her books how it has to do with the scarlet letter and how mm -hmm. reading and everything kind of save this woman's life and because it um you know there was a situation with her mother in this closed community and everything so you know it has to do with with our literature can, yeah can do that and then of course alice feeney alice feeney so i have a love-hate relationship with alice feeney because i <laughs> loved loved uh, rock paper, paper scissors, scissors. like it. i was get, yes. telling my friends you got to read this it's so good oh, yes, i love yes. it so much and then Daisy Darker came out, and I was so excited about it. I don't think I've ever been so excited about a book. Right. It wasn't by Riley Sager. And <laughs> I get the book. Everybody's saying how the twist is just so unpredictable. And I figure out the twist within 20 pages and <laughs> flip to the back to make sure I'm right because I was not excited about what the twist was and then was just very disappointed. Yeah. And traded it in at Second and Charles. That um. said. Would I read another one of her books? Absolutely. And Good Bad Girl sounds like yes. it's right up my alley. Right, like, right. It sounds like something I would read. Sure, yeah. Well, and then uh, next is Family Lore by Elizabeth uh, Acevedo. And this is her first adult novel. Um, she's, I guess it's, I've not read anything by her. Um, it has to do with a multi-generational uh thing going on in the family and but um i assume she was like a young adult author mm -hmm. and now this is her first and they've done that before taking an author who it's kind of even though she's not a debut author she is debuting her first adult novel so and she has you know she has a track record okay mm -hmm. i got on a blonde <laughs> kick yes uh, there will be more than one book predicted with blonde in the title yeah the blonde identity i hope they carry this book because mm -hmm. it sounds like so much fun kind of a like you said it's, it's kind of a um parody a parody <laughs> of the born identity yes. and you know the the main character here uh something happens to her and she kind of look wakes up in this really good looking guys bending over and saying get up run 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 and in everything that goes on she begins to think she's a spy and then he's like no honey you're not a spy but your twin sister is and she said what are you talking about i don't have a twin sister and it's just uh, in the description i read it and i'm like hey this is a book i think would be fun and then and there's need a, fun books we're going to the beach soon yes yes and okay then the other one is the hurricane blonde I mean, I read that. I thought, okay, come on, you, who's not going to want? And the, the um, just the cover of it is beautiful. It looks like something that they would pick. And it's about actresses. Yes, uh huh. And it's about a sister thing as well. But um, it has to do, you know, trying to hunt down a killer and and all this kind of stuff and different things. So. Um, you know, it just sounded interesting. So, but I couldn't believe it after I saw the blonde identity, and then as as I was looking up, you know, books that were going to be published in August, I, and I came across that, I said, "Oh, well, I'm choosing both of them." That's Absolutely. My prediction. Yeah. And I will say, Hurricane Blonde sounds like it's right up my alley with yeah. them. I love old Hollywood stuff, and I love murder mysteries. Yeah, uh, and you said, but you said it's something. It kind of reminded you it of kind of, Natalie Woods. The description of it reminded right. me of Natalie Woods' murder. For mm -hmm. those of you who don't know who she is, she was um, famous years ago. She was in the original West Side Story and movie, and um, yeah, she died on a on boat, a boat. Mm -hmm. like in the like on a yacht mm -hmm. in the person's pool and. I, do, I don't want to say the author's the uh, actor's name because I've not I have, 
it's been a long time since I've read the story, but he's very um, well known as well. Yeah, it, there was a very well known actor. Yeah. There's a lot of conspiracy theories surrounding it. And, and we don't have to, yeah, you have yeah. to. If you want to know more, you have to look that up. But anyway, it's it sounded interesting. Natalie Wood death. Yes. Yeah. Uh, next, the breakaway. Right. By Jennifer Weiner, uh, and I feel like she's constantly. Yeah, she's been there. I've got some of her books and read them, and they're they're perfect beach reads. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, definitely. And then learned by heart. Which, I'm just going to read the description. Heartbreakingly yeah. gorgeous novel based on the true story of two girls who fall secretly, deeply, and dangerously in love mm-hmm. at boarding school mm-hmm. in the 19th mm-hmm. century York from the best-selling author of Room and the Wonder. Mm-hmm. So, very interesting. So, we don't know what might happen there. Um, Gone Tonight is um, Sarah... I don't know how to say her Pecanon? name. Pecanon? Pecanon. I'm guessing. Okay. It has to do um, with, you know, mother-daughter relationship. And she's, the daughters were kind of wanting to move out and, you know. Have their own lives. Have yeah. her own life and all this. But mother doesn't want her to. And there's some kind of secrets in the past that kind of makes the mother want to keep the daughter close and everything. So it, it sounded it was uh, the description was interesting and vague, mm-hmm. and so I thought hmm, there may be something to this story, you know. So. And this is the author of *The Wife Between Us*. So mm-hmm. She's very good at twisty things. Yeah, it sounded like it would have some. Uh, the board game shop mystery, *Bored to Death*, and it was the um, okay. Sometimes I pick books based on the cover, and I saw this, and I was like, I thought it looked kind of like *Monopoly* or something. Yeah, you know? it's a fun cover. It is a fun and cover. And and it deals with um, it it deals with someone's uh, you know again there were son fathers everything and there's this board game that's based it, it's the original board game that Monopoly is based on okay oh nice yeah and and a man comes in and he's and this person has a copy of the uh, of one of the original games and it's worth mega dollars and the man comes in and he's only offered a fraction of what it's worth and so he's like no you know dude what are you talking about i'm not going to do that so but then it there's something that happens and all kind of stuff is going on so mm-hmm. it would be um you know something like that and, and then, of course, romance. Mm-hmm. The Deja Glitch. Holly James. Um, you know, can they fall in love before time runs out? Mm-hmm. What does that mean? You know, Truly, and, it's to break out of a 24-hour time loop, all Jack needs is for Gemma to fall in love with him for a single day. Mm-hmm. All Gemma needs is to remember him. Yeah. So, there you are. So, it's just uh, almost like a, what, a sci-fi romance kind of yeah, something. Yeah, cute, very cute. See, the cover yeah. art is very cute. Yeah. I like it. Yeah. I think it's, and again, you know, I'm, the cover caught my eye. So, sometimes that's, this might not be the best reason to choose a book, but sometimes it does. So, uh, the one that got away, this to me sounded more up your alley, I think. Yeah. Um, a sweeping, poignant novel spanning two decades about first love, first heartbreak, and the ones we never forget for readers of Jill Santapolo, mm-hmm. Rosie Walsh, and Colleen Hoover. I... Colleen Hoover mm-hmm. is another one that sometimes I love what she wrote, and sometimes I'm like, eh. <laughs> yeah. But usually it you know, falls in the love. I have... Her never read one of her books you should i have not uh what i took dad to the ear doctor the other day and i went and um, we had hearing test and and there was a woman there um and she had one of her books it was the the real pretty one with the yellow cover and the mm-hmm. and i thought i know kayla's read that i can't remember what he's the, not the wife upstairs it was no one. no no she does um um or maybe I've got the authors confused. Oh, I'm trying to remember what it was she wrote that was like the love story. They're, they're making a movie. It's a really big deal. I've reviewed it on this blog twice, I think. Yeah. Um, but no, 
you should read November 9 because my sister-in-law okay. won't stop telling me to read November 9. It's okay. apparently wonderful. So. Okay. Well, maybe we'll, we should read that. And it's a love it. story. I like love so, stories. No. I will deal with a love story occasionally. Yeah. My love story was just so great that, you know, it's yeah. hard to top. I understand. <laughs> mine, too. Yeah. the uh, Mine and Wayne's uh, thing is just really interesting but that's for another day and another time maybe i'll write a book about it uh tom lake um the author is ann patchett and tom lake tom lake is a theater is the name of a theater oh and, cool. yeah and I'll so the it's like there's three dollars and mother and the dad has passed away and she um and they're kind of together and they're wanting her to tell the story of when she um, met this famous actor at this theater and you know it kind of goes into all that so so anyway it sounded interesting it sounds like something that I think um, you know book of the month would pick up so then Lisa Jewell we know yes. Lisa Jewell they have to pick Lisa Jewell yeah they've picked several of her novels in the path and uh, it says here you know, it has to do with celebrating a 45th birthday in a local pub. Um, it's a podcaster. Uh, oh, there you go. And they do love books about podcasters. Yes, they do. They do. And so, anyway, it's it is all about this. So, that's another thing. And then, um, and I think the last one is Happiness Falls by Angie Kim. Now, she was the author of Miracle Creek. And I mm -hmm. want to say that they carried Miracle Creek at one mm -hmm. time. I meant to look that up before the before we did this and I um, I forgot but it sounded interesting to me um, I mean when anything starts out with well we didn't call the police right away mm -hmm. you know you're like say what <laughs> and um, anyway it's um, it deals with the Korean family living in uh, the state of Virginia and um, something happens it's like the son and the dad they go out and then the police show up and all this happened um, and the son has a special type of disease where he can't talk mm -hmm. and he's the one with dad and dad ends up getting murdered and he can't relay what happened because of this it's called angelman's um syndrome or something like that you know anyway it, it sounded interesting to me and i thought it would be something i mean if you see the cover and then you read the description it's like they don't go together but um i still thought it, that would be something that you would probably oh yeah like you know um i added a couple so one yeah. is just another missing person uh -huh. one day 22 year old olivia is spotted on cctv camera entering a dead end alley and never coming out again when julia is assigned to the case she dreads spending so much time away from her daughter while dealing with a frantic family yet julia soon realizes that her family's safety depends on framing someone else uh -oh. for olivia's murder the very twisty. Wow. I don't believe they've carried this author before. Yeah. But um, is she a debut author? Or she's not a debut. Okay. She's written some really good twisty thrillers. Mm -hmm. So if they're trying to get away from their usual group of authors, I just yeah. think she'd be a fantastic, fantastic choice. Okay. And then one that I've seen being posted about in a lot of uh, reading blogs. Right. Uh, California Golden, mm -hmm. which is another kind of mother-daughter book. But this time it's about surfers. Against all odds, Carol Donnelly has broken the gender barrier to become a legendary female surfer. Yet her daughters, Mindy and Ginger, struggle to deal with their unconventional childhood and their mother's physical and emotional absence. As they grow up, their lives start to diverge. Mindy becomes a surfer and gets swept in the celebrity while Ginger embraces the counterculture of 1960s California. So mm. also a little bit of historical yeah, fiction. Yeah, I like that. That sounds great. So, all right. So we'll see next month. And hopefully we're, 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 already, already, right. we're already in the middle of July. Can you believe it? No, I don't no. believe it. Won't be long. School will be starting back. <laughs> well, all right, guys. Maybe. What do you think? You got predictions? Put them in the comments. Absolutely. And as always, thanks for watching. Bye, Bye. guys.